Today I'm going to be sculpting 10 Fall Guys out of Tic Tacs and polymer clay. This may lead to a mass murder of Tic Tacs. Give it to me. Or at the very least, some disfiguration. But that's the price I'm willing to pay. I saw Clay Claim do this in a video, so I had to try it out for myself. Fall Guys. <laughs> they look like Tic Tacs. If you don't know who Fall Guys are, pretty much the only good thing to come out of 2020. They're basically these characters, vicious little beings, in a game that wear costumes and run through a chaotic <coughs> obstacle course. It's kind of Battle Royale style madness where you either yeet or be yeeten. I've actually never played Fall Guys. I wanted to, but then I looked it up and it was $20 <coughs> for the game. So that's where that obsession Why? ended. Also, I just don't have much time to play it right now. I did see several gameplays of it though, and it was hilarious. I'm making the flower pot costume here. This kind of reminds me of all the house plants I bought and brought home to die. Where was I going with that? Anyway! The whole time I was watching Simon make these little guys, all I could think of was why didn't the Tic Tacs melt? So I decided to do a test run with just a plain Tic Tac. Boring, you're so boring. I wasn't about to spend another four hours sculpting tiny little fall guys out of Tic Tacs when they're just gonna melt on me. And I wandered through the desert 20 years without water. It's crazy to me that it didn't melt. I have no idea why it didn't melt, bubble, caramelize, something. It's a little warm. I've never had a warm Tic Tac before. Hmm. Hmm. The chicken is the most annoying in the game. <laughs> He's always the one that pushes you off the edge. I feel like this chicken is my spirit animal. I'm not really sure if the chicken really is the most annoying since, like I said, I've never <sighs> played, but that's what I've heard. So far, so good. Sorta. No! God, please, no! No! I was kinda proud of this one. I like the way it turned out. Or at least, I did. Until my girlfriend was like, I love it. What is that? Is that a bird? <sighs> no, it's a chicken. In her defense, she doesn't really know many animals. She's never had any pets and clearly has never seen a bird before. <gasps> By the way, if you're new here and I haven't scared you off yet, you should consider selling your soul to me by subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon and select all so you don't lose me on the internet. I post new videos every Friday. The wolf guy is super intricate. <laughs> Caviar? I'm surprised my fingers didn't just smash the whole thing. He's got this little fur beard thing. Ow! It was tough putting that on. It was hard putting on all the little claws and details on him too. I feel like his face looks kind of derpy. Derp. The wolf is the king of derpy. Derp. But to be fair, all the fall guys look kind of derpy. Derp. I think the game creators intended them to look a little derpy, derp, derp, so derp. I'm not too derp. upset over it. Actually, the costume is kind of looking too big for it. Eh, it's fine. It'll grow into it. I'm obviously using the white Tic Tacs to make my Fall Guys, which I think is just like the original flavor or something. Apparently other countries only sell white Tic Tacs. Is that true? Like, if it's orange flavored, the mint's color is orange, but apparently in other countries they're all just plain white and you have to distinguish them based off the color of the box. So that's interesting. Anyway, for my costumes, I don't have black clay, so I'm just improvising with what I have. In case you haven't guessed already, this one's gonna be the pigeon. Help me. And here I'm making the hot dog. It was really hard making these guys because Tic Tacs are crazy tiny, little bit less than half an inch. For those of you guys that don't measure in inches, that's probably like about, I don't know, the size of one-fourth of a McDonald's french fry. The little hot dog guy was one of the easier ones to make. He just has a big weenie and a little bun. For the hot dog, the lines were supposed to be diagonal, mine are horizontal. I don't know. I'm a dimwit. I'm sure the hot dog will taste just fine. 
This is me calling myself out, so you don't have to do it in the comments later. A preemptive strike of sorts. I'm just now realizing that I didn't think this through. Everything's fun in games until the Fall Guys start rotting. Does anyone know how long Tic Tacs last? I wanted to make these edible. I thought about maybe making them out of fondant, but fondant isn't hard. I'm pretty sure it stays soft. Is there such a thing as edible clay? It would be pretty cool to eat mm. these little monsters. For the unicorn fairy, is this supposed to be an alleycorn? What exactly is an alleycorn? I hope they didn't mess this one up because I'll be a little upset. Hmm. Oh dear. I wonder why they didn't call it an alleycorn costume. Anyways, so I made a tiny rainbow of clay, mushed it together, rolled it into a snake of clay, and then turned it into a little tutu for this one. I've been making one too many tutus lately. I feel like I'm becoming quite the professional. You never know where life will take you. Sometimes you become a doctor, and sometimes you become a professional tutu maker. <gasps> on the community tab, I asked what you guys would do if you were on an obstacle course. Have you ever played Fall Guys? Push people off the course. Oh, this is a war zone, maggot. <laughs> I am not throwing away my shot. The world ain't wide enough for y'all. If it's for a million dollars, you better believe I'm going to train hard and work on my reflexes. I'll be looking out for those losers who play dirty. Play dirty? <laughs> those ruthless jelly beans. I'm shocked anyone would play dirty. Absolutely flabbergasted. So anyway, Simon was so precise working with these tiny, tiny Tic Tacs. Yeah, this is my favorite one. Personally, I'm just used to handling bigger things, so this might just be a massacre. We'll see. I've been working so long, I can't feel my butt. Here I'm working on my donkey-faced mammoth. <laughs> it's not supposed to look like a donkey, but you know, monstrosities are to be expected. The mammoth's foot and tusk fell off in the oven. Look at you, you're falling apart. According to the official Fall Guys Twitter, Fall Guys are over six, six feet, feet tall. tall. What? I'll give you a moment to let that sink in. That's a scary thought. Those beans are gigantic. <laughs> I'm trying to add some small detail to these without ripping all my hair out. Here's where I accidentally Ow. yanked the duck's arm off. Oh no. Anyway, I'm dying to eat these Tic Tacs. Part of the obstacle of making these is resisting the temptation to eat them. I caught it that time. I'm not gonna lie, this is kinda infuriating. You need a lot of patience to make these. The T-Rex was the hardest for me to make for some reason. I was having a really hard time putting his teeth on. They were looking either too big or they were too small and weren't sticking on, so I had to compromise and <laughs> smash on whatever I could. I don't know how close this is looking like the actual no, 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 character. No, 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 no. I tried. I really don't like the T-Rex. It's just hideous. Sorry about the eyesore. I'm sure someday it'll turn into a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> no. And if it doesn't, I guess I'll just tell it that it's what's on the inside that matters. I think it might be pretty cool to make these guys out of an egg, wow. except for the fact that I knocked these over like 30 times, so that might make a bit of a mess. Oh, and the fact that they would rot, of course. Rotting. By the way, for those of you who haven't guessed yet, I'm making Turvy the Triceratops. I think part of the appeal is how silly the characters look. I mean, I love the whole game. It gives me very Nintendo Yahoo! vibes. I also just love the whole idea of like little beans wearing costumes. They're just the most adorably homicidal beans I've ever seen. Finally, I'm done. That was two days of work right there, believe it or not. Aw, I can't take it. They're too cute for me. I just want to eat them. Make sure you like and comment on this video or I'll twist your nose in a knot.